hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is primary animal health care with me your favorite veterinarian dr nobs yeah okay let's get into today's video today we're going to talk about calf scours right so before we get into it i want to say thank you to everybody who has subscribed to my youtube channel if you're coming for the first time or you are a returnee but you still haven't subscribed please kindly subscribe it's absolutely free youtube will not be charging you for this all right you'll just be helping my youtube channel to grow all right thank you guys let's get into today's video calf scours what is calf scours calf scours is essentially just calf diarrhea all right so there are many causes of calf diarrhea um they could be either bacterial it could either be viruses or it could be parasites as well as one that i usually see which is nutritional especially if um, the farmer is raising um, the calf themselves or the mom doesn't have enough milk so they have to buy milk replacers for this calf so this is the other um, cause of diarrhea that i usually see on the farms so calf scours is something is something that usually happens within the first month of life um how you might be asking yourself but uh how is this important well it's important because if not treated the animals can die and the animals do die and i have seen um uh goats um that's your your kids and your lambs that have died um from diarrhea i have seen uh, calves that have died from diarrhea or calves that have rectal prolapses because of so much straining so calf the diarrhea depending on what's causing it can last for like one or two days and then some animals can be having diarrhea for like a week or two and um, if left untreated and things continue like that then they, those animals do die so what do i ex what have i seen well most of the time what i've seen is that obviously because veterinary service is not easily accessible to most of the rural slash communal farmers most farmers try and treat everything themselves before they call for help right so most of the time by the time we called in people have tried everything and most of the time is teramycin they would be injecting the animals with teramycin 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 right and nothing is working or the diarrhea is not stopping and then um that's when they will call for help so number one that will be a sign that maybe you are using the wrong antibiotic right because not all diarrhea needs an antibiotic and not all diarrhea needs teramycin right so it depends on what is causing this diarrhea right let's backtrack i said the diarrhea could be caused by viruses uh, bacteria or parasites right uh, but how does it harm the animal well when the animal is having the diarrhea they are losing water and electrolytes now these are body salts and by losing this water and this electrolyte, this leads to dehydration and that can lead to death because it leads to certain imbalances. I don't need to go into that, right? It's going to just, just know it leads to certain imbalances. So what would be the correct treatment and how would, what would be the right way to go about it? Number one, the most important thing would be to correct this loss correct the loss of electrolytes which are the body salts as well as the water so you need to replace that water and that electrolyte right so you can um you can get um electrolytes replacements over the counter in this coparasis you can just go in there and ask for an electrolyte replacer replacement um especially if the animals are still strong enough to suckle on their own only if the animal is flat and out and cannot drink on its own then you would have to call for help because then it will have to receive the fluid therapy into its bloodstream directly and you cannot do that yourself but there are people who can people like me <laughs> who can come and do it so do call us um when it gets to that extent and if it requires depending on the course if it requires an antibiotic then from the investigation that a vet can do then you will be able to prescribe you the correct antibiotic for your situation right so um prevention can you prevent this from happening well yes you can you can try in certain instances things that you can do to try and prevent um calf diarrhea are the following try and separate your calves according to age right 
do not try and not put um, older calves with younger calves. This is if you can and if you have the space for it. Keep your younger calves separately together and try and limit them to exposure of feces from the older cows because these bacteria, most of them and these viruses and these parasites that cause the, the diarrhea are coming from uh, the animals being in contact with the older animals that are healthy feces, right? So it's like some of these bacteria are normal uh, residents of the GIT tract of the gut, a normal resident of the gut in the older animals, even in the young ones. And then um, when they release those um, nice little bugs through their feces and the new cows come in contact with that, then those cows can be exposed, right? So try and limit um, and separate your animals according to age. If you are um, raising the animal yourself, try and tell whoever is helping you raise the animal to be clean and to stay clean so wash the bottles that they're going to be used wash and sterilize those bottles um try and mix um the milk only with water don't try and mix it with milk and stuff just mix it with clean water and then also other things that you can do is make sure that your animals get the first milk within the first 24 hours of life they should have had this milk from the yama all right, I've spoken about colostrum, so you guys know how important it is. If, if you don't know, just go back to my first videos of calf management and you'll be able to see where I've spoken about colostrum. I made a video on that. I think it was a, a month ago or something. I made a video on colostrum. Right, so call for help. Get the right advice. I might not have said everything on the video that I would like to say, but yeah, this, I'm I like... Well, if you're in my area, I'm like a phone call away. <laughs> but if you're in other areas, try and find out who's a phone call away that can help you. There's always somebody. They just may be far from you, but a phone call doesn't hurt. All right. Thank you, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Do um, give it a thumbs up and do share my channel with other farmers. Um, don't be stingy with information, okay? I'm also putting it out there for free. So do share the information with other farmers. Share the share my YouTube channel in your WhatsApp groups, in your farmers association, you know, and all of those things. Just share my my, um, uh, my, my YouTube channel. Let every farmer have the opportunity to have a vet in their living room. All right. Thank you, guys. It's a pleasure.